tomorrow is a day I've been waiting for since December 31st of last year. Bow season. Well, Sawyer and I are ready to head down. Uh, we just got to get down there, unload stuff, uh, get everything ready for tomorrow morning. I'm going to be in a little plot down in the bottom that I put in over the summer. I got to wait for Jared there this evening. Uh, I don't know where he's going to be yet, but we're excited. A little bit of dough management in the morning, and then uh, after some big bucks in the afternoon, it's going to be fun. Here's to the start of uh, 2016 archery season. We're going to get this girl home and get her cut up. It's supposed to get upper 80s today. So we're going to get her taken care of pretty quick and uh, go after my big buck tonight. But uh, it's exciting. Happy to be back. Morning, folks. I uh, am out here this morning sitting around waiting. My buddy Jared's up on the hill. I got me a nice hot cup of coffee. Uh, Sawyer's out here playing around. It is a freaking gorgeous day out here. I really love this place. Check it out. West Virginia's finest. I freaking love this farm. But I killed a doe this morning. I'm gonna get her cut up here in the next hour or so and then uh, be moving along here this evening. The Mountaineers play at 2 o'clock I think. I'll catch about an hour of that and then I'm hitting the stand. I still got one big buck that uh, one big shooter. I have another big one. He's a 10 but he's he put on a bunch of inches between two and a half and three and a half, like a ton. Uh, I'll, I'll put up a pick in this uh, vlog, but I don't think I'm going to shoot him. He's an 11 point, uh, really a mainframe 10. He got a little kicker, but I don't know if I can shoot him because he grew so much. So I don't know. We'll see. But uh, it's a great day. I'm so happy to be out here. I'm so happy for season to be back in. He asked me here in probably two months and I'm going to be freaking exhausted and ready for season to be over two, three, maybe four months. But anyway, uh, it's a great way to start the season. See you in a little bit. Hey, you want to eat some deer meat? You want to eat some deer meat? Is he going to eat some deer meat? Is he going to eat some deer meat? He's an old wet puppy.
All right, folks, well, I'm back in the stand, and it is just smoking hot out here. But uh, Jared ran me up here on the four-wheeler and uh, dumped out some more of my attractant. And when we did, we were going through the field and busted out with this uh, 11 point that I haven't decided if I was going to shoot yet or not. But after seeing him, maybe. But he wasn't 100 yards from here. The good thing is, is these deer are pretty used to me driving around up here. So I don't think he went far. So I have a funny story. My uh, cell camera was catching up, sending me pictures because down at the farmhouse I don't have service. So I got up here and my cell camera is just about 20 yards away. Um, it finally caught up to this morning since it had me sent, sending me pictures since yesterday morning. It had, this is the spot where I killed uh, a big eight last year. And uh, I killed it at 7.15 in the morning. This morning from 8 until 10 o'clock, a huge bodied eight point stood right here. I, uh, I don't like hunting this spot in the morning because you have to cross a big field. And if there's deer in that field, you bust them out. So my thinking is I don't want to bust out if there's any big bucks, I'll hunt them in the evening just stood there all morning so my plan may change a little for tomorrow morning <sighs> that's a killer I don't know how that shot was. I was holding tight on his shoulder, but I don't know exactly where I hit him. I seen him run off it. The arrow passed completely through him. That's the first day I've had a picture of that buck was here earlier. And he would not freaking turn, and I had my bow drawn forever. 
I couldn't, I just, I couldn't wait anymore. I was dying. So, uh, I don't know what happened. I don't see him in this field. But he, he kind of ran up through here. So, I, I don't know. I got to rewatch the footage and see what happened. But, whew, I'm freaking shaking. All right, folks, so. The blood doesn't look bad. It actually looks really good for, I, I thought I might've hit liver and guts and I don't know, blood looks awful good. So I'm sneaking, I'm gonna sneak down this way. The buck ran up this way. So I'm gonna sneak back down to the house. Jared's gonna come off the hill at dark uh, from where he's hunting. We're gonna see if we can't find this joker. I, I, I'm pretty sure he's dead. I think he's dead already. Well, we're going to take a look for my deer. Uh, it's been probably two and a half hours since I shot him. And uh, looking at the video, I think it's probably a decent hit. There was a good bit of blood on the air when I looked, so uh, hopefully he ain't too far. I'll explain your uh, your shirt situation. There. Oh, so today I was looking through the farmhouse and I found this shirt with a bunch of wolves. And since I'm an apex predator too, I thought it was a good uh, good chance to rock this shirt. Plus, I was hunting in a white oak, and it blended in perfectly. So, wolf pack. <laughs> oh, there's your arrow. Right over there. Yeah, my arrow's right here. I bet you ducked down into the woods. Yeah, see? All day. Yeah. Good bit of blood there. How far did he go? <laughs> he didn't go what? 66 yards. <laughs> awesome, dude. Oh, dude, Mass. nice. <laughs> After about uh, all 60, 70 yards, we found this guy doubled up, and it was actually really not bad of a shot. I'm pretty sure I probably got both lungs, and uh, he didn't make it very far. I was shooting a slick trick broadhead, and, you know, they're small broadheads, but man, they cut a pretty daggone good hole for as small as they are. And I did a number on this guy. He's uh, probably a little bit bigger than I thought he was, really. Uh, he's got some good mass. And, Pretty cool G3s. Uh, all in all, I don't think you can start a season better than what I did today. And uh, I kind of got back into shooting a compound this year because last year I took off with my crossbow. Uh, it's a good way to come back. So uh, I'm super excited.
something this morning and then I'll be headed back home, but uh, there's been a ton of deer in here. Um, so hopefully I didn't mess it up yesterday too bad. There's one big doe in here that is busting me every single time she comes in. Not much you can do about it. You've always got that one doe that does that. smoked her butt so good. That's not a very big doe, but uh, those are the tasty ones, and uh, that's what I was looking for. took Jared up on the hill early this morning probably I don't know 5 30 or so dropped him off came back and slept for a couple hours and uh, woke up and he was texting me saying he killed a, a doe up there so we'll go get that doe and uh, probably get it cut up here before uh, it gets too hot and then we're gonna move along get everything packed up clean up the house but uh, We'll go check out his dough first. Yeah, it was a pretty good morning in the woods. Took down this nice little dough. I think it's a year old dough all by herself. Um, was looking for some meat. Grant needed some doughs taken out of here, so this one came in all by herself and uh, I'll let her have it. <laughs> Fun hunt, great weekend. Grant had an awesome day yesterday. He killed a big doe and a nice eight point. And uh, it's always a good time when you get to help your buddy recover a buck. So, pretty happy. What's Jared Schaefer's deer skinning tip of the day? Don't stab yourself. <laughs> Well, we had a heck of a good weekend. I put a doe down this morning. Grant got two yesterday, so we're having a little bit of fresh deer heart for breakfast. Well, the weekend's just about over. I'm heading home. Sawyer's back here with a horrible case of the dog farts from eating deer carcasses all weekend, so it's not too pleasant, but we're going to hit the road and get back up. It was a great weekend. I got the kill two deer which I've never done before in one day uh, we just got that legalized here not too long ago so it was pretty nice I got to hang out with Jared who's you know one of my real good friends and always fun to be around and I'm glad he got to kill him a deer too and get a little meat for his freezer but uh, great to great to be out first weekend of bow season I'm ready to start in another state Pennsylvania and then move on to Ohio uh, but hunting season is busy, but man, it is fun. This dog is tearing me up. Sawyer, what do you have to say for yourself? What do you got to say for yourself? <laughs> uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is. See ya. Oh, look, the leaves are changing colors. <laughs>